I had a terrible weekend. To spare you the details, just know that I felt like shit. Mentally and physically, I was sickly and drained, and getting out of bed alone was taxing. For this week's film, I planned two full days of scripting, filming, and editing, resulting in this like perfectly polished and unrushed film. Yet here I am, you know, that didn't happen, and I almost didn't make one at all. But I forced myself to, and funny enough, the reason why I did is because of the concept I had planned for this video in the first place. All courses of action are risky. So prudence is not in avoiding danger, it's impossible, but calculating risk and acting decisively. Make mistakes of ambition and not mistakes of sloth. Develop the strength to do bold things not the strength to suffer. Some time ago, and even now, uh, to me, this quote from Machiavelli is about dreaming bigger and the grit that it takes to achieve extraordinary things. But more recently, I can relate to it on a more fundamental level. It's also about not allowing myself to be a victim. You know, it's, it's okay to be hurt, to be riddled with anxiety, to be depressed, to be less than okay to be human, but at a certain point, you have to know when to really dig deep and either engage some self-reliance, or more importantly, have the courage to ask for real help. Thanks to a friend at work, I was able to leave work early yesterday and just start filming, and that's really, really what I needed more than anything else. At this moment, I had actually dismissed the idea of making this week's film about this quote as I had planned, and I was just going to put it off and just film some relaxing nighttime scenery downtown and make a more casual video instead. But as I roamed around, I was inspired to do something, and that's to ask one of the people who lived downtown if I could take their photo. I eventually found someone. I offered up some money in exchange for a quick conversation and a portrait. I asked him about his story. He was happy to chat, and he actually had some really insightful and saddening things to share with me. Once my, my mom passed, I pretty much just, I, I gave up on everything. I quit my, my job, and before I knew it, I mean, I, had, I couldn't pay the rent or anything, or anything of that nature, and then I got on the streets, and I got used to the lifestyle, man. I, I, I really did. I hate the lifestyle. I want to get out of it. But it's like you dig yourself a hole and it's like you can't get out. Yeah. You know, it's like I hope I can. And I mean, it's just, it's complicated, honestly, to talk about, but it's, that's, the, yeah. that's just the truth. Yeah. To whoever you are watching this video, my future self included, probably, I want to encourage you to truly develop those strengths to do bold things. You know, whatever that looks like for you, whether that's having the courage to go to therapy or to speak with somebody who has wronged you or to just get out of bed and do something towards your career or your goal that you have fucking do it because life is way too short not to